Today we're creating an automated text reminder system and we're going to use two tools to do it. Make.com and Google Sheets. Super simple system, but your clients will love it and you'll love how simple it is to set up. So let's dive right in and show you how it works. All right, so we're just going to run this and then once we run it, it filters through the logic and sends me a text message on my phone. All right, pop over, let's see that text message. Okay, so here's that text message. So this is the one day reminder and it says, hey, Zachary Phillips, you can put whatever text you want here. We're gonna configure that in a little bit. Your event is tomorrow. We're hope, we hope you're ready for some delicious barbecue and some super satisfied guests. So you can put whatever your clients or you want for your business in there, but let's show you how to make this system. All right, so we're gonna start with a fresh make scenario here. And, and then you're gonna go pop down to the description, grab the JSON for, for this blueprint. Go, go ahead and import blueprint, choose the file. Then we're gonna grab this file from our downloads. Okay, now that it's in there, save it. All right, so super simple system here. Yeah, the first note here, we are setting the current date and time. Then moving along, we need to search through Google Sheets. So, so we're using Google Sheets as a backend here to store all of our appointment times and dates. So we're going to select this, uh, select, need to, you're gonna need to select this Google Sheet from your drive. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I've, I've set up a Google Sheet here and it's got some sample appointment data here. You're gonna find a sample Google Sheet in the description, uh, in the resources as well that you can pop pop in and, and get this working. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and find this. Now back to my make scenario. We need to do is find this one. It's named appointment sheet. So yeah, that's that's good. And we want to we're not gonna filter anything here because we don't we don't need to, but we want to order by the event date. So I'm gonna refresh here so that we can load load the data. Oh okay, we're still on the wrong wrong sheet here. There's only there's only one sheet. So yeah, pop over to sheet. Then we're going to want to find the uh, event date. So it is appointment date. Yeah. So we're going to want to filter by that date type ascending. Right. So we'll order. Then we're going to go ahead and give that a run. Just right click, run that. And then we're going to see those appointments that uh, those sample appointments pop in here. Okay, so the important important thing right here is the appointment date. So we're gonna need that, that appointment date for this next step here. And then uh, what we want to do is pop over to our ChatGPT uh, connection here. So you're going to need to set up a new ChatGPT connection if you don't already have one set up. Then you want to pop pop down here. So we want to parse out the reservation date. So we have to uh, set this up with the correct, the correct field. So it is the appointment date there. We just want to select that there. And then the rest should be good. We're going to give this, uh, that, that should be good now. Now, so the next step that we're going to go through here is a router with a few conditions. So we have a, so we have three paths here and each of them are for a different number of days that you want to send the reminder on. So if we take a look at this top path here, we have um, conditions for seven days and then a few additional conditions. So if you look here, we're gonna parse the date that we get from ChatGPT, add seven days to that date and then if that's true, then we're gonna continue. And then we also want to see if we've sent this reminder already for the second condition. And for the third condition, we want to see if the payment has come through yet. So, 
that that is that's what allows us to under to know that it's one it's been paid for two that we haven't sent this reminder already and three that it's seven seven days out from their event and then we come here so you're gonna have to set uh, attach a twilio number to this and then if you're in the u.s go ahead and uh, get a2p registered i'm not showing you how to do that in this video because we're keeping it short but uh, get a2p registered so you can send uh, text messages but then the text message body looks like this right down here so we make sure that the phone number is set here and that's uh, column c from our sheet and then we're going to say hey first name tame beast barbecue here your catering event is coming up here just simple message so that people know what what's going on and these messages are kind of expected these days it, when you schedule an appointment, when you schedule an event, you sort of expect to set up these reminders, but setting them up for a business can be expensive. So this is a simple way that you can set them up and start charging uh, charging your clients for, for setting them up or complement another system like a voice agent system that you have built for the client already. So let's move on. We're going to, so the last step in here is a Google Sheets update row sheet. So this lets us know that we've sent that message already or not, or whether we've sent it or not. And you're going to want to make sure that the seven day reminder or whatever you've set it, set it to has a true in it. Cause that's what our previous condition is looking for. And then the other two, the other two routes here are the same exact thing, just different, different times and different messaging. So we can give them a look through here just briefly. And, and then, uh, and so we want to make sure that this is the one day reminder. Actually, so this is, that, that's incorrect. We want to make sure that this is the three day reminder is being set to true. So that our system knows that when we send one of these texts, this, this last step here sets it to true so that we won't set and it's the same logic in here. We're looking for that true in the three day reminder sleep slot, as well as the payment is confirmed. And then the current date time is three days from, uh, from now <clears throat> we have a message here. So yeah, that's essentially the whole system. And we're going to give this system a final tech, uh, test here. So let's run this through. Um, uh, if we look so that, so I have a couple dates here. Uh, this is three days from today. This is, uh, this is tomorrow. And then this, this is days from today. So these all, uh, my phone should get lit up right now with a bunch of text from messages. If I've configured this right, let's run it through. Oh, operation failed. Ah. Yeah, so I haven't set this up correctly. Let's change my phone number in here to, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna change this to my personal line, but if you can uh, imagine for a sec, no, let's, let's get it. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is test this out. Let's go ahead and fire off the, fire off the run, and then we're going to get a host of messages right now. Host of messages right now. Okay, for some reason this last one didn't go. Uh, confirmed. Ah, yeah. So the last one did not go through because I purposely left out the confirmed message on this last bit here. So this person hasn't paid yet, and we wanted to make sure that they didn't didn't uh, get a text message yet. Our system it hadn't confirmed it, but yeah, let's go look at those text messages. So yeah, just like we thought here, this one's the weak weak text message, and then this one is the three day text message. But anyway, that is the system, the full uh, full. Blueprint is going to be in the description as well as the sheet sheet for, for this one. If you like this, go ahead and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Thanks.